Hi YouTube, how are you all doing today? Are we all doing good? Awesome! Now uh, today, and it is daytime, just because I've got the lights on doesn't mean it is night time. It's just unbelievably dark and dismal outside. It is in the afternoon as well. Not very good, is it? Anyway, enough about the weather. It is time for me to react to episode 15 of the Outlander series. And that is Wentworth Prison. Now, now I've been reading in the comments that that you guys say that for the last two episodes, because it is nearing the end, which is very sad for me, uh, that I should prepare myself, in which I've got a box of tissues, I've got a pillow, I've got my cup of tea, which is here, in a, in a red flask, oh yes. So it's just to keep, to keep me going for a couple of hours. Now, Enough of the chit chatter. Uh, let's get on to episode 15 of Wentworth Prison of the Outlander series. I hope you enjoy. Ooh! Oh my god, I had the crack. What a thing to start off with. <laughs> God, it must be awful that you know that you're condemned to die and you're going to have that noose wrapped around your neck and that snap was really loud. God, you can feel it and I'm not even being hung. It's like a bloody... God, I feel sick. Because I've got a feeling Jamie's next. I hope he does like a prison break or something. We have a bunch of ill for tasty faced Englishmen. My only regret is that I wasted my life as a common thief rather than a patriot serving my country fighting against you lot. To the devil we England and God bless King! <laughs> God, how can they just... Oh shit, no. No, 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 no. James Fraser. No. Oh God. Oh God. Please. Oh God. Yes! Oh no! Oh God. I thought he got away then. Oh, 
shit. No. Oh god. Oh. oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh, no. Actually, go ahead. No, I'll, ju I'll just be going. No, no. Hang me. Bloody Jack Randall. Why has he stopped them? Not that I'm, I've got a problem with it, but I was kind of hoping Claire might have got there before. And... Why do I don't know like the Hello, looks of this? Here. What's he gonna do? I bet he's wondering what why have you start what do you want? I don't like that smirk that he just flashed. I really don't like it. I'd at least have my shoes on. You must suffer from dodgy eyesight, mate. That wall is solid stone. In 20 years you might get that fault loose. Except you ain't got 20 years. The compliments. Captain Jonathan Randall Esquire. Must be good to have a friend of means. <laughs> if you're smart, you'll eat a hearty meal, have a wash, and your luck can change any minute, boy -o. I wouldn't be surprised if they spat in it, if I'm honest. See if you can find a key in there, maybe they'll let you out. Fraser Wentworth. James. Wentworth Prison. And you say you know the prisoner? Yes, that's right. Close relation? Not particularly. A family connection. I hardly know the man, really. I think not. An English woman of fine breeding and a common Scottish criminal. Ah, uh, you know. It appears he's been granted a temporary stay of execution. At least for a little while. Sure, good luck, I suppose. When was the last time you were in contact with this um, individual? Many years. Old as the connection may be, I felt it a kind gesture to come visit. My Christian duty, I'm sure you can understand. I could tell you were a Christian woman the moment you entered. May I see him? Sir Fletcher. I should like nothing better than to help you, Mrs. Beecham. Unfortunately, uh, I cannot allow it. If something were to happen, I would never forgive myself. I understand your position, Sir Fletcher, I do. But this man mm. comes from good people. How sad that a young man in this situation would be estranged from his family. If he wished to write a letter to them for reconciliation, I would be pleased to deliver it to his mother. You are thoughtfulness itself, my dear. Come on. One moment, madam. Oh, she's going to go get him. Remember to bring a file and hide it in a cake. That's all you need to do, love. That's always good for, like, prison breaks, isn't it?
Just thank God he wasn't killed. I knew something was wrong. As soon as Jack waltzed in into the courtyard, I knew something was going on. But he's fine, Claire. He's fine. He's 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 in a scummy prison cell in the dungeon, but at least he's alive. However, this may be the family solace. The prisoner's personal effects. Customarily, we send them on to whomever the prisoner designates as a next of kin after execution. Perhaps you could take it to them. I'd be happy to. Well, then, I believe the Lord will smile upon you for this good deed. Oh God! <coughs> Jesus! Well, it's enough to make anybody sick. God! God, it's enough to make you heave. Just the thought of it. No wonder she was sick. something to keep their mind off things. They probably do care, they just don't, they just want to sort of lighten the mood. I mean that, that's what I think the anyway. The is on the two of you. And the one after that. Think again, we are skinned. We seem awfully cheery about it. Well, it's who we want to. That has us coming. <laughs> they need to know. By all means, tell them. For me. No, I think it should be you. You lost more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you. Typical. Typical lads. Well, keep your throats well lubricated. You did. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about a speaker piece? <laughs> well, you three, we're sitting here looking glum. We will lose another coin too. Too. Not one, but two. In the past, it was. They just go out the cup of giggles. Like prison. Did you learn anything useful? Yeah, I believe so. Mm. The warden. What's his name? Sir Fletcher. The very man. He insists on having his evening meal in private. After which, he reads his Bible. Every day. 25 minutes of quiet reflection. Introspection. Self-examination. And... I don't want to be like it. The man's away from his office for a full hour. Go on. What could you possibly be doing for a full hour? Isn't that enough? Hmm? Yes. So they were gambling in a way to get information. So if he buggers off for an hour, there's going to be nobody there. Rightwise, king born of all Britain. 
I wonder when you'd show yourself. Oh God. I hate him. Just go away. I expected you to come along. Marley. Not much in the way of intellect, but impressively brutal when given the opportunity. I apologise to the prison commissary, but I see you manage well enough. Good for you. So, you couldn't keep out of prison long enough to hear if your pardon had been granted or not. Your petition of complaint against me, surely you haven't forgotten. to write a letter to his family. You didn't say anything about lying. Then well, perhaps you should ask him yourself. Sir Fletcher is indisposed at present. Must I remind you? You're speaking to a lady. <laughs> Beg your pardon, madam. It's not often quality such as yourself visit this mucky p Until Sir Fletcher returns, you can wait here. But uh, don't go wandering. I a safe place for the fairer sex. The concern for my welfare is duly noted. like to wait with me. I suspect you've been on your feet for most of your shift. Would you like to take a seat? They've got a plan. <clears throat> you trying to get me discharged? I've got my duties to perform. Of course. My apologies. A be at ease. I promise I shan't leave this room. And besides, I have my manservant here to protect me. Should I be in need of such? Manservant. Who's going to protect him? You're a poor glass. I'll get him to speak. I'm afraid if I didn't, he might come up with it himself. He has to find keys and maps for God to take a place. There's got to be like a cabinet or something. It's got to be in like a cabinet or a drawer or something with a key. Yeah, call you Jamie. I care not. But you're expecting me to beg for my wife. You'd be sorely disappointed. Be a waste of both our time. I am unable to save you now, even if I wish to. Our time together here is but a momentary reprieve. Not in a bella. I prefer the noose to your company. Is that true? 
Why do I make you uncomfortable? Yes, you do. Do I haunt your dreams since Fort William? When you awaken in the middle of the night, shaken, sweating, is it my face you see looming in the darkness? Tell me, when you lie upon your wife and her hands trace the scars on your back, do you ever think of me? You sicko. And soften. What is it you want from me, Randall? I want you to admit the truth to yourself. What would that be? That you escaped Fort William, but you did not escape me. Surrender this, this pride that you hide behind. Admit that even now, you're terrified. Admit it. Admit that one simple thing, and I will give you something in return. A final gift. It. Welcome to the Wheel of Death. Which one would you like to die to today? Make sure you're... Knock him out! Conk! That's it. Tie him up and hide him somewhere. With a bit of luck I'll be able to find Jamie before the alarm sounded. Wait for me, I'll come with you. No! If I get caught, I can say that... Well, you quarrelled with the jailer and I fled for help. Well, what will I tell them at the gate? Tell them that I sent you out to get a gift for Sir Fletcher. Remember, you work for an English woman of noble birth. And you remember, you've got less than an hour before Sir Fletcher returns. Meet me in the woods behind the prison. We'll be waiting for you. Good luck to you too, lass. You can imagine this is like a video game. You can actually imagine it. Yeah, I like video games as well, as much as anime. Just so you know. God, hide.
Jamie? Yeah. Are you there? I'll be your genial ass. Please. Come and get me. Now is not the bloody time. He's not in the... He's in a private one. Go get him. God, the heights, the silence, because the, there's some. Oh, I just, I just can't stand it. All right. God, I hate him so much. Of all the characters I in this series, I hate him the most. Nice. Go on. You can't run. Oh crap. What's he going to do? <gasps> Go on, it's him. Grab the armor. Got a cut. Go on. Come on, Jamie. Come on.
Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, Claire, just run his leg it, hurry up! No. I'm guessing that must have broken his hand or something. Why are you forcing the treaty in such an abominable way? Why do you choose to spend a few hours left to you as a miserable cripple? Why do you force me to hurt you? You're better than this. Look up. Look at me. What is he doing? You are a sicko. He's a fucking sadist. Oh my god, what's he doing? God, if he finds her there, that's it. Show's over. Go, 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 go. Come on, just unlock it quick. Wrong door. Well, at least you found a way out. That's always a good sign. Get him up. Get him out quick, just get him out. Talk to me, Jamie. Wake up. Jamie. You must stay awake. We're going to walk out of here together. Stay with me.
<coughs> you truly have a gift of showing up at the most unexpected times. Oh no. Was it a picking on the court? How did he get back so fast? You could do better than that. You fucking sedentic piece of shit! That was so I should have slit your throat when you were laying unconscious at Fort William. Yes. I'm afraid you will come to regret that. It's a more active humanity. Ah! You're no coward. I will grant you that. I'm a fit match for your husband. And I cannot give you a better compliment than that. Sweat of exertion. Bravo. Oh, bloody okay, you interrupt me while I'm conducting an interrogation. Begging your pardon, Captain, but we have reason to believe that earlier today that woman there was involved in an escape attempt. Well, now you found her. Congratulations. But since that is the prisoner she'd hoped to free, you can see the, the search can now be called off. Please, you must take me to Sir Fletcher. He needs to be made aware of what's going on in here. Please. Will the captain allow us to take the woman into custody? No. No, he will not. This woman is involved in a rebel plot against his majesty. God save the king. God, God save the king! You tell your commander I have the situation well in hand. Yes, sir. Now Jesus. get out. Search her for weapons. You sick bastard. Why do they always go for the boobs first? In myself, I'm not in the mood for cunt today. But I imagine Marley here would like to entertain you privately in his quarters. You really prefer to watch? You seem not the type of person that would. I may have what are called unnatural tastes, but I do have some aesthetic principles. You are a very lovely woman, shrewish chum notwithstanding. Do I want to see you with Marley? God. Right, wake up. You're present. Go on, it's him. Ooh, nice shot. Right in the jugular. Oh my god! Are you watching? Shit! Make me a better offer. Have me. Don't do it, Jamie, don't do it! Oh, 
it. Will you allow me a brief test of your sincerity? doing not both of his hands not both of his hands no don't do it silence her or I will don't do it Shh. oh no I can't oh god Oh God, oh God, no, 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 not that, not the, not the nail, not the nail, no. Oh God, I might need, I'm getting a tissue at the ready. Oh my God. I'm sorry for swearing, but I can't open Oh my god! Oh god! Oh god! You sick <laughs> asshole! God! Oh my god! Oh, I'd like to just grab. I'd actually like kick him in the balls and grab that and burn his fucking face off. There was a trial held at Cranesview. You were accused of being a witch. Yes. Witch. I am. I curse you. I curse you with the knowledge, Jack Randall. I give you the hour of your death. Jonathan Wolferton Randall, born September 3rd, 1705, dies. Hold him the day, the date.
Jesus. What is that? It's like a pit or something. What is that? Oh my god. She's with dead bodies. Oh god. God, it's where all. God, it's where they chuck all the dead bodies. Oh god. After you chucked her down the bloody pit of death. God, what's she gonna do now? What now? God, my heart can't take this. God, Jamie. He's going to endure all that torture again. It's really, really hard into his nose. of our lives. We don't need you to pop up anywhere. Let's go back to him. It's dark and those angels are still coming to town. Cleopresa, this is Sir Marcus McCrack, a loyal friend to our clan. This is his home we're sheltering in. Thank you. We could use a loyal friend right now. Tell me, how many men can you muster? To rescue your husband from Whiteworth Prison. Tonight, if possible, or tomorrow morning at the very latest. None. For it means risking the Redcoats coming around afterwards and levelling Eldridge House to the ground. No, lass. I'm sorry. Temporary shelter I can offer you. 
but I not put my family or myself in jeopardy. I can pay you. I wouldn't ask your men to risk their lives for nothing. A half dozen or so would give us a fighting chance. A dozen would give us an even better chance. Where did you get these, woman? Fraser? You say your name was? That's right. My husband gave them to me on our wedding night. They're yours, if you'll help us. Did he indeed? Ellen's son. Your husband is Ellen Mackenzie's son. Aye. And you can't get his order. He's the spit of her. I gave these to Ellen Mackenzie as a wedding gift. I've thought of them so often around her bonny neck. I wonder if she ever thought of me while wearing them. So, they're yours, Al. You wear them in good health. I'd stand a better chance of doing that if you'd help me get my husband back. Ah, uh, I see. But what I can see is how it can be done. I have a wife and three bairns to sleep upstairs. I must look to their protection. Ah, uh, I would do a bit for Ellen's lad. But it's a bit much, you ask. God, is there nothing we can do? That just leaves the five of us. It'll have to do. I know how to get us inside. I left a door open at the rear of the prison. An open door is near plan, lass. Anyone? Look at these. Thought you've opened a door. The one of them's. Well, it'll probably be locked. As soon as it you gives me no pleasure to see such. Absalom. Man, I sent you out at daybreak to bring a forty head of cattle. What have you been up to all that time? Searching. All bloody day. Well, you sure as shite didn't go thirsty. How many did you bring in? Nineteen. Nineteen. Nineteen out of forty. What are you blind, man? He's got an idea. And what the hell is so funny about 21 missing cattle? I know how we can save young Jamie. And it involves cattle? Well, it's just. Well, that's the end of that episode. Sorry, I couldn't speak like during that at all. I said like the odd comment here and there, but God, you was right. You, you was right with the tissues. God, I needed it. That was just horrible. I'm gonna need them for the next episode. If you'd like me to review that episode, then give me a big old thumbs up. Click, click on the subscribe button down below uh, to my channel, Laura Twinkle, and leave a comment as well. So, uh. That's all it for me now. Bye-bye.